important video this for parents and juniors out there. We're looking at your driver speed and your hand speed in relation to your height and the length of driver you're using. Uh, first of all, I'm not a data analyst. I've done nothing like this since uni about 20 years ago. The sample size is quite small. It's players we work with, so intermediate to elite type juniors. Uh, the club head speed was done on Trackman 3, pretty accurate. The hand speed was measured with ZEP. How accurate that is, not sure, nothing to compare it against, but it seemed fairly consistent. It's not the same club the kids are using. They've got their own club, US kids mainly, uh, Tour Series Ultralight, but the older juniors will have something maybe a bit different, um, more of a wider selection, different lengths as well. The groups were split into sort of two groups we work with, I work with. Uh, so I could have done maturation, age and split it like that. But again, my knowledge around that wasn't probably good enough to know what stage they were at. So I might need to work with someone a bit more of an expert on that one if I do this in a bit more detail, which I'm sure I will. Uh, there's no weight of club taken into account. So swing weight, overall weight, not into account. It's just purely length of club. Most of the juniors, uh, like I say, are players we work with. So they've been fitted for sort of the right club, unless the parents weren't listening. Anyway, let me know what you think of the data coming up. Please leave some comments. It'll be really interesting to see from parents and other coaches what the kids are using and if you've got any similar data. So let's look at the younger juniors first. These are the guys aged uh, between mainly seven to 12, but anyone under four foot six inches was the height I went for, as explained in the intro. Uh, now, US kids will recommend a driver length that is about two thirds of a player's height. So there's two thirds of a player's height, roughly. And you can see, looks quite nice. So they're peaking in terms of club head speed with a driver that is two thirds of their height. Now with a shorter club that is lighter as well, the hand speed is going to be quicker for almost all of them. However, that won't translate into a quicker club head speed because the length of the driver is just too short to produce the speed. But as I explain at the end, it's probably better or it's certainly better to outgrow a club than it is growing to one, certainly for developing hand speed which is very important for these guys at this age especially. It's a great opportunity to train speed of all sorts, not just the hands. So you can see after this 0.66, there's a big drop off in the hand speed and also in the club head speed produced. So if the club gets too long, too heavy, no hand speed. And on this occasion, therefore, no club head speed. So longer clubs, you know, should go faster because they're longer. But when the kids haven't got the strength to do it or the hand speed to do it, it's not going to happen. So let's go over to the bigger guys. These are the kids aged sort of 12 to 15, but anyone over four foot six and a similar thing. Now, most of these have got the correctly fitted club. So you can't see many here with very small clubs. And um, there's the 0.66 number from US kids. And uh, you can see the peak here is a little bit before that. So with a shorter club than may be recommended, they're getting more hand speed, certainly, as you'd expect. But also, if we go to the 0.66, the peak here, again, smallish sample, the peak here is before that 0.66 number. Now, average tour length driver is 44 and a half inches, give or take a quarter of an inch, maybe. Um, average shop length driver that you'll just see off the shelf is an inch longer at 45 and a half. So if the pros are using shorter than what you might call standard, why shouldn't the kids be as well? Seems to suggest that there. Um, now, obviously, there's a big drop off in hand speed after that, where even for this age, those that haven't developed won't swing the long clubs as fast. Again, not looking at weight of club here. This is just total length of club. Uh, and there's also, although it's not as significant, there's a drop off in club head speed. So maybe not a big drop off, uh, but certainly I'd say significant again. But although the kids now are maybe a bit more mature and certainly stronger, they can still probably get the club moving a little bit quicker, even though it's too long for them. But the hand speed's still down and club head speed's still down to where it could be. So have a look at these two guys here. Now, on the left, we've got Mr. W. Um, he is this guy here. That's the hand speed. And his club head speed was here. Uh, on the right, we've got Mr. Y. And he is, let's get a different colour out. He is this guy here. No, he's not. He's this guy up here, way up here. Didn't see him, he's off the chart almost. And he's this guy here. Now, massive difference in size. I think there's a, a year and a half apart in age as well. Big difference in size. 
exactly the same length driver. In fact, uh, Mr. W's driver is a half an inch longer. That can't be right. So both very good players, um, but long term for Mr. W, who's sitting down here somewhere, this is maybe not the way to go. So again, if your driver is up to your chin, it's probably the wrong club. Although you might think longer drivers are going to go faster, uh, the weight of it, if you're not ready for it, it's not going to happen. Just don't be in a rush to upgrade your clubs or lengthen your clubs. Don't get bullied into it either. I know it's hard when you're on ultralight maybe and your mate's got tour series, but they're a bit longer, a bit heavier. It might not be right for you. Same when you get a bit older, if you're still on US Kids and your mate's got Callaway because he's a bit bigger or he's more mature now, whatever it might be, it might not be right for you. In fact, probably won't be. You should be using whatever's best for you in terms of your development at that time. None of you are going to be on tour tomorrow. You're still developing everything about your golf, including speed. If that means staying with a kid's golf club is better for you long term, that's what you should be doing. With the size of the clubs as well, again, it's better to outgrow them than grow into them, as US Kids will say. Um, the chart here, or the stick that you might see from US Kids, wasn't always this many sections. Two sections used to be pretty much one. So if you do find yourself into the next section and you know you don't really know or can afford to upgrade possibly, no rush to do so because that a few years ago was all one section anyway. Any questions on this, please let me know. Coaches especially, have you got similar findings? Parents, what are you using? Kids, what are you using? Let us know in some comments and hopefully have a chat and get everyone using the right club and developing even more. Hopefully you're staying safe in the lockdown. We'll see you guys soon. <laughs>